concept we covered in last class. So in the last lecture, we completed ROC, Laplace transform advantages, and uh, how to use it in case of system analysis and all like that. Overview we have seen uh, Laplace transform introduction, and then coming to the definition of zeros. And so that concept, what we were discussing in the last class is about Laplace transform. How do we represent Laplace transform? X of S, right? So if X of T, if X of T is your time domain function, then it's Laplace transform is represented as X of S, isn't it? So in general, your X of S is going to be S domain function, right? Means it will be having a numerator, in S function and denominator function in S domain, right? So the roots of denominator, what are poles? What are poles? The roots of denominator, right? That means by equating D of S equal to zero, the roots of your denominator function, nothing but poles. And how do we represent poles in the S plane? Using this cross mark, isn't it? So now coming to zeros, put the heading zeros, now you can guess what is mean by zeros and how to find, isn't it? So zeros are, uh, which make the function value to be zero. So nothing but these are the, uh, right, the definition, the roots of numerator, the roots of numerator. You write the complete word, the roots of numerator are known as zeros. Okay. Means how to find these zeros then? by equating numerator function to zero, isn't it? By equating n of s to zero, find the solution. That means find the factors of that particular numerator polynomial. Those are nothing but zeros, which make your function because numerator is zero means entire function will be zero, isn't it? So that's why the name is given as zeros here. For example, let us take your x of s function as a s square plus, um, uh, 4s plus 2 divided by s plus 1. Then how to find the roots of this function? How to find the uh, zeros of this particular function? How to find the zeros for this example by equating numerator to 0. That means s square plus 4s plus 2 to be 0. Uh, so uh, suppose if we can take factors means easily we can find otherwise the roots concept is equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. ax square plus bx plus c. If the equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. And then this is how we find the roots, isn't it? Using this formula, x equal to plus r minus minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by d. So like that roots of your d, numerator polynomial are nothing but zeros. Clear? So here easily you can find, I think, here. What are the roots of this? s square plus 2s plus 2s. Okay, only this only you have to use. Okay, then that. So roots of your numerator nothing but zeros. Completed this. And can anybody guess how do we represent yes, zeros? How do we represent zeros? Using circle. This is a representation what we use to represent zeros in S plane. And this is a cross mark what we use to represent poles in S plane. Clear? For a given function, you have to find the both the poles and zeros. Poles, roots of your denominator. Zeros, roots of your numerator. After calculating poles and zeros, plot it in S plane. Cross mark is for poles. Circle is for zeros. Clear? This is about poles and zeros, definition and all. So let us start with the basic standard type of input signals. How to find the Laplace transform using the standard uh, uh, basic formula. X of t into e power minus s t dt. Copy this. Now, next problem, let us start, uh, start with the standard signal unit impulse function. Limitations, did I discuss limitations of Laplace transform in last class? Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
first problem find laplace transform of what is the standard type of input signal always we start with a direct delta function or unit impulse function isn't it find laplace transform of delta of t find laplace transform of delta of t unit impulse or what is the other name for delta of t unit impulse function or direct delta function so here what is x of t given delta of t which is a which exists exact of s that is laplace transform of time domain function x of t what is the formula we have minus infinity to infinity signal multiplied with kernel e power minus st dt isn't it so here for which signal we are trying to find delta of t so x of s only we will write and uh, minus infinity to infinity in place of x of t now what is our input delta of t what i have to write now tell me what is the value of this integration what is the value of this One. integration 1 One, because already we have the properties minus infinity to infinity x of t into delta of t is what is its value x of Zero because delta of t will be existing only at a single instant at t equal to zero and its area is one. So this is one means exactly at single instant of time t equal to zero. This function value is x of zero. Similarly here its value is nothing but e power minus st at t equal to zero. If I substitute t equal to zero, its value is one. So x of s is not at all depending on s variable, right? So it is for all the values of s. Clear? So delta of t Laplace transform is one for all the values of s. Means ROC is ROC is entire s plane. There is no restriction for all the values. The Laplace transform is one. Important this is. ROC is entire explain. So here only the twist is here. That's it. Similar. Simply we are using the properties, properties of a unit impulse function. That is this one. Minus infinity to infinity x of t delta of t is x of zero. So x of t into delta of t e power minus s t at t equal to zero is one because x of s function is not depending on s. So ROC is entire is plain completed this yes ma'am next second find laplace transform of unit step input try to solve this Try to solve it on your own. Now the, again, same procedure for all the problems. Only the thing is input is changing here, isn't it? Same formula we have to use. And, and observe here that integration. After solving that integration, the result must be a finite value. Like that, we have to restrict our sigma or S function. That is nothing but ROC. Okay, let us start with the solution of this unit step input now. So here, what is the input we have? X of T is... Unit step input we have Laplace transform of u of t x of s. We don't write it as u of s or delta of s like that. We don't represent in general x of s or simply Laplace transform of u of t. What is the formula we have? Minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt. So here continuation in place of x of t what I have to write now? u of t into e power minus st dt. Now tell me what are the limits I have to select? Out of over entire duration minus infinity to infinity, u of t will be existing only in the first quadrant, only for t. Did anyone complete that problem? Laplace transform of u of t I am trying to find in place of x of t, u of t into e power minus st dt. What are the limits I have to select now? 0 to infinity, isn't it? From 0 to infinity, what is u of t value? 
what are the limits i have to write only 0 to infinity and in that interval 0 to infinity u of t amplitude is 1 now tell me what is this integration minus 1 by s 0 to infinity i have to write and e power minus s t so here comes a concept of rvc please listen here if s is greater than 0 then only this integration is a finite quantity for example if if s is less than 0 for example if s is less than 0 what happens here if s is less than 0 means already minus is there again still s is also less than 0 means one more minus minus into minus the exponent will become positive e power positive infinite means integration after solving substituting limit the integration value will be infinity if s is less than 0 if s is greater than 0 means this is a positive and negative exponent is there and when i substitute in place of t plus infinity e power minus infinity what is its value zero only right e power minus infinity is zero and lower limit is e power zero so minus 1 by s zero minus 1 Plus one by s, and this finite value is possible only if s greater than zero. Only if s greater than zero. That means real part of s must be greater than zero. Did you understand this point? This is an important concept in Laplace transform. That means for which values of s this integration is having a finite expression, finite convergent. Convergent means not having a infinity concept isn't it so this function this integration is convergent only if s is greater than 0 if s is less than 0 means minus into minus will be changed to plus e power plus infinity means we will get here infinity so here the restriction is s must be greater than 0 otherwise that integration is not convergent clear and our roc is nothing but real part of s s is having real part as well as imaginary part isn't it real part as well as imaginary part here greater than 0 is there 0 is a real quantity isn't it real number imaginary component is not there here on right hand side here so real part of s is greater than 0 real part of s is nothing but roc from the definition so roc is greater than 0 clear do you want me to repeat any concept here is this clear la finding laplace transform of unit step input for which values of s that integration is convergent that analysis is important even later on also we are going to use the same concept in finding the laplace transforms that is nothing but roc do you want me to repeat any step in this no response clear so here we got u of t laplace transform as 1 by s and what is the restriction on s real part of s is greater than 0 because our roc is related to real part of s only that's why we are analyzing complete s function here clear so here numerator is 1 means no zeros here because it is not at all depending on s so even though if you equate numerator to zero nothing is there s terms are not there here so poles poles are nothing but s equal to zero means sigma plus j omega equal to zero that means sigma equal to zero real part of s is only having a component that is also zero so exactly at origin there is one pole and what is the roc here what is the roc we here real part of s is greater than zero means exactly at pole draw a line greater than 0 means positive side so this entire thing is our roc for this problem complete this side is our roc clear like this we have to represent what is this real part of s 
and this is imaginary part of s and this is our s plane s plane only one pole is there at origin and r was is greater than its pole or greater than zero zero is only the pole so this is the r was where this laplace transform is existing this side that laplace transform is not existing that is the meaning of representation in s plane here this is about unit step input laplace transform let us go for next integration i mean next is standard type of input 